All right, those are my brackets. Those are my little adapters that'll slide in the rail on the boat. Those will mount like that. And the top is where the bimini top will mount to. Unless I can make it a triangle and mount it sideways. I'm going to find out that once I get it to the boat. So this is preliminary stage, test fit, whatever you want to call it. So this will slide behind here. And then the aluminum brackets will bolt to it. Let's see how it all works out. All right, so that's the first one on. Um, I don't much like it so close to the seat, but I can also adjust it forward or back. But I wanted it kind of easy to reach right now so I can set up the bimini top as I want it to lay on that when it's in storage so I can put the boat cover on. If it can move forward, that would be okay. I got uh, easy 18 to 20 inches here. Back doesn't make any sense. My goal at the moment is to use the railing to tie the bimini top straps to. Those in the back, these in the front, something along those lines. But this right now is basically just a test uh, to see if this is even going to work the way I want it to. Alright, let's get back to it. Now I'm going to do that side. That side won't be as easy, won't be difficult. But this side was missing its little plastic cap already. That has both. So I'll have to unscrew it, which I got the locator for. Let's move on. All right, so so far I like how it's looking. I do believe I'm gonna push both those back uh, to where the poles line up here. So if the top is down, somebody can still sit here. Right now you would have no room really. Um, so it looks like I might line this bracket up with that post. That should give me enough space. Uh, so that, that I'm kind of liking so far. Pretty sure I got it on right. I got these straps. I'm hoping not to have to use those hooks. I don't really want to drill into the top. I would prefer to hook the straps to um, the railing along the side. Uh, but say we'll see what happens. I guess those hooks wouldn't be too terribly bad. No, oh, we'll find out. We'll see. That's where we're at at the moment. Stay tuned. Alright, so she is on. I believe I like how it's hooked up. I did not drill the extra holes for these. I'm using the railing to hold the straps on each four corner. It does give you the option to have a solid pull here from there down there somewhere. We could use another one of those type of, well there they are, those fit feet. Which either means I'd make another one of these braces or brackets and put it here at the end. I don't like that because it'd get in the way of anybody getting in the trailer here if the top is up. But I like how this strap works. Uh, I did move it back, as you can see, level with that pole, with that part of the railing. So, it'll sit on the back canopy, or back transom, but still allowing you to sit in the back seats with it down. Um, it was not an expensive kit. It was something along the lines of uh, 150 bucks, I think something fairly cheap 
as you can tell, made in China. Um, made in China. Front, whatever the hell all that means. Um, but I like how this turned out. This turned out pretty well. It doesn't seem to wiggle much. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by my trees out here. I got a pretty hefty breeze coming through here right now. Probably somewhere in the 15 to 20 mile per hour range. Um, it doesn't seem to be wiggling that much. We'll find out what it does uh, on the lake. I plan on going Sunday with the wife. Everything else is finished. I did uh, put these on last night. And day damn one, I shit you not, not even hitting the water, overnight it broke. That's just stupid, right? Again, made in China. Because um, I won't get it in time. I'm going to weld it up. It's stainless steel. Well, I already have the TIG welder up. That's what I made the little brackets out of. Aluminum and, and stainless steel. I'll go ahead and weld it up. And uh, hopefully it works out. So let's go to that step now. I like the way that looks. Plenty of headroom for somebody my height. Minimal. Well, I didn't drill any holes in the in the body. I used the railing that was here and made a little bracket. Straps are kind of angled inward a little, so we'll pull it out and forward, out and back. So it should. Uh, Hold that pretty steady, I think. Now on with the uh, repair of the U-bolt that broke after day one. Well, the U-bolt broke overnight. As I pull it apart and look at the grain structure, it's pretty gritty, which means the heat tempering wasn't done quite right. But uh, TIG welded it up. Hopefully it'll work out just fine at least until July 8th when the replacement shows up. 